Hello, this is Professor Werewath. I wanted to do a quick video for incoming MEM students for the fall of 2022. Uh, I'm going to go through some course offerings and some curriculum guidance. This is not meant to replace one-on-one -on -one meetings and discussions, but frankly to supplement so that you guys have a leg up uh, as to um, what types of questions you should be thinking about and what types of considerations you need to, to have. Your first consideration, of course, is what is your area of specialization? What is your area of concentration. Many of you are in the product management area of concentration. Um, so I will guide some of my discussion towards that end. The other thing to consider is whether you plan to be with us for three quarters or for four quarters. Now, if you're unsure, if you're saying, well, I might be three here or four here, I'm not sure. It depends on what kind of opportunities there are. I get it. The best way to maintain flexibility is to take four classes in the fall four classes again in the winter, and then ramp down in the spring if you want to uh, elongate your time here on campus. If you want to get out quickly, then you're gonna to wanna to take your final four classes in the spring of 23, and then be done and graduate. So um, I've seen both strategies. In fact, we have both in play at all times. And that's one of the, I guess, areas of flexibility of MEM. So um, seriously consider how you want to play that. Um, the other thing is I get a lot of students who say, well, I wanna take entrepreneurship and I wanna take multiple classes in entrepreneurship. And frankly, I say, no, you really should uh, consider taking only one entrepreneurship class. And the reason for that is there's considerable overlap and MEM is only 12 courses and you need to seriously be uh, conservative with, with how you take those 12 courses and what, what topics you take. Um, so I do not recommend, for example, taking 419 and Nuvention, okay, 419, if we scroll down here, is the um, technical entrepreneurship course. Um, I would recommend one or the other. If you're interested in medical, we have Nuvention Medical in the fall, uh, and you have to act quickly on that. So you're going to have to probably act as early as August if you want to get into that class. So I warn you now. Uh, however, it's a very fulfilling class. It's offered with Kellogg as, as a joint offering with Kellogg and uh, the Farley Center. So I think you'll find that if you're interested in the medical field, healthcare, or for example, medical informatics, this is a chance for you to uh, create a new business in that space, working with medical students, uh, law students, and as well as college students on cross-functional teams. So Nuvention Medical in the fall, Nuvention Energy, which is a one quarter class is offered in the winter. And I teach that uh, similar in format to Nuvention Medical, it's just compressed, it's a little bit shorter, it's one quarter instead of two, and um, we do strive to get a balance of law students and, and Kellogg students, but, you know, frankly, that's a little bit challenging with that class. Um, so basically, bottom line is don't take Nuvention and 419. 419 is, think of it as a generic version of Nuvention. So 419 is really... Um, any kind of technology um, startup you want to pursue is fair game for that class. The other consideration is whether you take 407 in the fall or the spring. I recommend 407 in the fall for people who want to build on their analytical tech, uh, you know, uh, techniques and uh, understand technologies of, of analytics so that you can build on additional classes with analytics in the future. Um, in the spring, it makes sense if you're, you're really not that focused on analytics, if you'd rather be focused, say, on product management or project management, then perhaps you can pick up 407 in the spring. It's all a function of scheduling and what fits. We've tried our best to make things available to you. Um, you know, literally, six, now we're up to six days a week. So we got Friday classes and Saturday classes. Um, courses to avoid. So incoming students should definitely avoid 437. That's really for your capstone. You'll have another chance to take it in the spring if you graduate in nine months. You'll have a chance to take it next fall if you graduate in 15. So either way, you should not be taking 437. Um, other courses to avoid, probably technology strategy, unless you have a good reason to take it. We're offering it this fall as an alternative to 437. If you wanna take 490, please contact me, this technology strategy class is a little bit specialized, but I think it's um, kind of a good alternative to 437. All right, um, courses to seriously consider, right? So obviously 402 in the fall should be something that almost every incoming student um, considers taking. Why not in the winter? Well, in the winter, we're opening that up to minors. 
and it's a required course for minors. So we have enough seats in the fall because we have two sections and those two sections will be an afternoon section, on ground traditional delivery. An evening section, highly innovative this fall, online, but the beauty is we're connecting up with uh, a school in Mexico called Tech de Monterrey, and we're gonna be uh, co-teaching it with them. So this will be a global experience for you. And it's something that we really uh, think you'll, you'll value and, and cherish. Um, we are looking at making uh, a, an exchange program of sorts, really kind of a summer slash winter experience. So their students would come to us in the summer of 23 and our students who want to have an experience in Mexico uh, can take classes uh, sometime in December of 22 uh, down there, uh, probably the uh, Guadalajara campus. So um, keep that in mind, especially if you're interested in this uh, exchange program. It's only for a week. It's supplemental uh, tuition, supplemental travel expense, but it is an, an extremely um, valuable experience to be able to connect up with companies in, the, in Mexico, as well as experience uh, working with students from Mexico in a Mexican campus. So um, those are the two offerings this fall. Again, afternoon, traditional on ground, no uh, Mexico connection there. Mexico connections in the evening option, evening section, which is gonna be mostly online because half the students will be uh, in Mexico and half the instructions will come from uh, Mexican uh, faculty from Tech de Monterrey. So that's 402. Um, 405, I think many students should seriously consider taking 405. We do have a winter option. You can take it in the winter. However, um, I'm thinking just because of the way it's scheduled, it probably fits for most of your, um, most of your calendars and schedules. We've already talked about 407. Again, fall for those who are interested in further analytics uh, courses, uh, spring for those who are not. Um, other courses to seriously consider, um, We've talked about 419. I would say for the fall, you should seriously consider negotiations. Almost every one of you will be working with people. And anytime you work with people, you're gonna work with competing priorities and competing uh, views and visions of reality. So negotiations helps you bridge those gaps and helps you negotiate, whether it's a project plan, whether it's a budget, whether it's a scope of work, or maybe it's a PRD. Um, you know, 429 is, is an amazing um, course. And frankly, it's one of the most popular courses in any business program. I've adapted it specifically for engineers and I've been teaching it for more than a decade. So um, check out 429 on Wednesday nights. Hopefully that fits your, your schedule. It's only offered once a year. So this is your chance to take it. Uh, 4, 430 is our product management class with Virtu Shah. He's offering it twice, but I think the vast, vast majority of you should take it this fall. We have plenty of seats and it is hybrid. So he is allowing some online as well as on ground people. Um, it'll be a great class. I think anyone who's in the product management concentration uh, should take it, right? Uh, we talked about 437 as not being a good class nor 490 for you guys. So I think that basically covers the vast majority of the main offerings, okay? So these elective offerings, for example, that I didn't mention um, would be operations excellence 412. I think if you're in that analytics space, if you're an operations oriented person, that would be a great uh, class for you. But of course it precludes you from taking 429. So you're gonna have to choose. And unfortunately they're both offered once a year. So um, business process change is an excellent class for those in the project management specialization it really gives you a big picture of view of how to map out processes in an organization and how to optimize them. Anyone who's in consulting should seriously, or likes the consulting field or wants to be a consultant should take 416 without hesitation. Um, 420 is for people, really product management types who really want to understand product management from the big picture. How do you organize to bring innovation to uh, the organization? So how do you, how do you deliver innovation in a consistent way while you're still delivering products that are uh, legacy products, right? So that's the challenge. And how do you organize for that? So this may not be a course that is immediately applicable. This is the type of course that five or 10 years from now will be very applicable for you. So if you're into product management, seriously try to fit 420 into your, into your schedule for the fall. Um, 
We've talked about 429, 430. I think that basically exhausts all of the courses that we are offering uh, for the fall quarter. So if you have any questions, please feel free to send them to me by email or, or and uh, set up some time with me in the month of July and August. I will be posting that for you guys to be able to uh, spend a half an hour with me. We can go through your specific circumstance and hopefully our course schedule for you is robust enough to, uh, to keep you busy, whether you're taking three courses or four. Do remember that the fall quarter is very heavy for recruiting. So as you schedule your time, it's more than just your time in the class. It's also your time outside of class. Recruiting activities can be very time consuming, especially in the US, simply because um, just the way it works, there's just a lot of overhead associated with interacting with folks, connecting with folks, uh, setting up interviews and applying for different jobs. So keep that in mind, as you know, fall is heavy for both internships in the summer of next year, as well as full-time jobs. Okay, with that, take care.